Much love cosmic friends. Today we're talking about how to become more present and really step into our power. Okay, we have to realize from my perspective that the present moment is all that we've got and we do have a choice here in this amazing universe, in this amazing life. Okay, so we, re we have to realize that we are energy, we are source players and the more that we connect to the intelligence of ourselves the more we get to know ourselves is the more that we get to we get to we get to actually know the universe itself okay so they say that there is wisdom in our body there is wisdom in our intuition and from my perspective the more that we want to become present is the more that we have to follow our intuition and usually our intuition and our hearts speak to us in an easy flowing beautiful way okay the more that we actually listen to our hearts listen to our intuition is the more that we actually change the patterns inside of our own consciousness inside of our own brains inside of our own third eye maybe okay so i realized that in becoming more present with myself i have to actually heal parts of myself that are actually wounded okay so in this life through throughout this life especially in our childhoods we get through experiences that actually affect us at a mental level okay it actually affects our subconscious mind but the more that we actually get to recognize the patterns that are either serving us or are not serving us is the more that we actually heal at a subconscious level okay so recognize the patterns inside of your own life that are actually creative that actually bring in positive energy that actually allow yourself to step into a creative process the more that you actually follow your passion is the more that you will actually become more present more in tune with your with yourself with your intuition another thing in, uh, into actually becoming more present is to actually learn how to observe what is happening inside of myself you have to learn to observe what is happening inside of your own self okay so realize that each moment is actually an opportunity for you to actually become your full complete self the more that you will that the more that you actually observe the patterns that are inside of your body <coughs> the more present you will become okay so they talk about the fact that we can actually get to meditate in each moment each moment is a meditation and the more attuned we are <coughs> the <coughs> sorry the more attuned we are to the present moment the more that we realize that each moment is actually an opportunity for us to become more concentrated more focused more aware okay so realize guys that yes everything that is happening inside of yourself is actually important and the most important thing in this world is how you actually feel this means that your thoughts and your emotions are creative okay what do you choose to be today who do you choose to be today what do you actually choose to create today and from my perspective the best choice is to actually attune ourselves to the vibe of love and let go of the hate to the vibe where we actually become authentic with ourselves to the vibe where we actually reclaim back our power okay so realize that you have to let go you have to let go and i also believe that this life is actually happening in cycles more like energetic cycles okay the more that you recognize the fact that you are actually in a pattern in a cycle you get to actually choose to improve this pattern you get to choose to improve this pattern okay so realize that yes whatever is happening inside of your own mind inside of your own consciousness is really important okay because that gets birth to your creation okay i also believe that in, in stepping into our presence we must also step into a creative process okay so what do we choose to actually create today how do we choose to actually influence the world today okay and realize that peace and abundance is our truth the more that we actually step into our hearts is the more that we realize that there is power within ourselves okay so they say that if you actually get to know yourself you will get to know the secrets of the universe okay so the more that you actually look within yourself for answers because the answers are not outside of yourself 
you are your best friend and you are your worst enemy okay so choose to be your best friend the more that you get to actually know yourself from the inside out and actually express that into the world is the more that you will reclaim back your freedom your power your truth okay so realize guys that yes in order to become present we must acknowledge the patterns we must observe our feelings we must step into a creative process. We must get to actually know ourselves at a soul level. We must see the beauty in each moment. We must see the beauty in our past, even if it's not what we wanted it to be. We must see the beauty in everything. So realize that you are actually free to create your own reality. And the more that you are attuned to the present moment, to the intelligence of the present moment, the more that you realize that you have access to parts of yourself that are actually healing, healing, and are actually expansive. And the more that you open your energies to whatever is in front of yourself, the more that you will actually expand as love, okay? So realize that the main challenge from my perspective is to actually make inner peace with ourselves. The more that we make inner peace with ourselves, the more that we choose to let go, is the more that we open our hearts to the present moment. So it's beautiful, it's nice, it's all perfect. Whatever happens inside of your own life, that is actually in divine correspondence, in divine timing. The more that you recognize the fact that everything is happening with a higher purpose, is the more that you will actually accept yourself and self-acceptance, recognizing your flaws, recognizing the fact that you are not perfect, accepting your fears, facing your fears, and realizing that you are an infinite spiritual being that has come here on the planet with a purpose, is the more that you will actually step into your true powerful self. So realize that even if it gets hard, even if we feel like we don't have enough energy, even if we feel that we are actually hurt, we can always look at these processes, we can always look at these patterns, we can always look at our levels of consciousness with compassion and love. And compassion and love and abundance will actually allow you to step into a new vibrational state, into a new level of consciousness, okay? So even if it gets hard, realize that that is happening with a purpose. And the more aware you become with these processes, the more attuned you become to your mental processes, your emotional processes, you realize that yes, everything is as it is supposed to happen. So begin to actually trust life and trust your consciousness, trust your gifts, and there to actually find what you are passionate about and let that actually kill you, destroy you with love, with peace, with abundance. So realize that you, as a spiritual being, you have the gifts of your true self. The more that you focus on your true self, which is right here in the present moment, it's not in the past, it's not in the future, it's right here, right now. The more that you accept your true self, is the more that you will actually get to change everything in your life, okay? It all starts with inside of your own mind. It all starts with an idea. And then you gotta actually put it into practice. You gotta practice it. You gotta have fun with it. I also believe that is not necessarily about hard work. It's not about hard work from my perspective. It's about having fun in the process and allowing the energy of our inner worlds to actually expand as infinite consciousness because we are infinite consciousness we are very powerful we are source energy and if you are connected to source energy you realize that you wouldn't hurt anybody because that is actually another version of yourself if you are connected to source energy you realize that you gotta forgive yourself you gotta step into your power into your authenticity into a vibe that reflects your true self. Okay, so realize that in becoming present, 
we have to actually observe ourselves. We gotta make choices based on intuition. We gotta make choices based on love. We gotta rediscover our gifts. And trust me, within yourself, you are very powerful. Infinite source energy, infinite power, infinite love, infinite abundance. The more that you love yourself, is the more that you will actually become more in tune with how you feel. And the more that you become in tune with how you feel, is the more present you become, okay? So realize that you do have everything that you need inside of yourself. The abundance is within, the peace is within. And the more that you actually do the work, the more that you get to know more about yourself, the more that you get to know more about what you believe at a mental level, the more that you actually learn how to alchemize these things, is the more complete you will become, okay? So realize guys that yes, 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 peace is our truth. And if we get to actually rediscover our, our talents, we get to actually influence not only ourselves, but the world itself. Okay, so realize that you are a warrior of light, of peace, a heartful warrior. And you get to actually transform everything in your life. You get to be yourself. You get to actually let go. In letting go, there is power. In letting go, we open our hearts to the experience of life. And the experience of life, get to actually live it, get to make the most of it. Get to be aligned with your true self. Get to be yourself. This is how to actually become more present. If you are new to this channel, feel free to actually subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know what's up, okay? So this is my perspective on how to become more present. Realize that there are gifts within yourself and the more that you open, the, get, the more that you get to actually know yourself from the inside out is the more that you will get to know the universe itself. Realize that you are, as a unique spiritual being, you have your own purpose here. So focus on your purpose and stop playing small. Get to actually play big and realize your truth. I love you guys and see you on whatever is coming up next. Feel free to subscribe and leave me a comment. This is how to actually become more present. I give you some tools and one tool is observing, getting to know your beliefs, creation, getting to know yourself, getting to follow your purpose, okay? Getting to heal yourself by accepting yourself, getting to heal your negative emotions, by alchemizing them with acceptance, by giving yourself the freedom necessary in order for you to actually expand. I love you guys, this is today's video and see you on what is coming up next. Much peace and see you on what is coming up next. I love you, ciao.